Hello and welcome to part 4 of the uh, Rombic Stirling Cycle Engine story. I'm now uh, going to attempt to do a performance test and hope that it's not too disappointing. I don't know whether you'll be able to hear the commentary over the noise. Anyway, we'll have a go. So what I have here is a digital voltmeter measuring the output voltage and a digital ampmeter. I also have here a battery which I shall use to start the, uh, the, the engine and here I have a, a compressed air bottle which I charge the engine up with. Um, I will start it electrically as that uh, tends to keep the um, uh, before I light the burner and that, that tends to keep the, uh, the tubes on the cool side. I'm going to uh, light up and give it a go. The, the lamps I'm going to use as a load are automotive lamps. Four of them rated at 12 volts. 10 watts. I'll keep the battery connected for a few seconds just to uh, let the engine get up to operating temperature. At the moment it's charged to 30 pounds per square inch. Now we're going to uh, disconnect the battery. You see that that killed it a little bit. I'm going to give it a little, a little bit more pressure now. demonstrates the uh, advantage of pressurization. We add another lamp now. Add a little bit more pressure. Let it warm up for a minute or so. Well, it's now uh, running at 13.6 uh, volts, 13.5 volts, 2.29, 2.28, amps. Mean pressure is about 58 pounds per square inch. Tachometer reading approximately 700 RPM. I'm now going to remove the load and test the revs off load. Just over a thousand, but by one thousand one hundred RPM. 